Hello, Serge here from the back porch. We have a physiological question here from George Jung, Y-E-U-N-G. And he says, Serge, your explanations of the physiology are excellent and I appreciate more of the plain avoidance and remedies as I progress into my golden age years. Can you address why I suffer from severe pain on my right shoulder, rotator cuff, how to cure and avoid re-injuring it? I am right-handed. So he's having right, right shoulder problems, which is his, his uh, back or trailing arm. Well, first off, I'm going to say, I think you first and foremost, if you're really having issues, I would stop by at least putting on some, some type of, uh, of these ointments and, and, and relief things that, that you might just have a little stress and strain, uh, put some heat on it, probably start off first with cold, and then, and then go to heat back and forth, no more than five minutes, I believe, uh, is, is, what, is what you do to start off. And, and, and if that makes it go away, then I guess you probably, we could say that maybe you just had a, a, a mild uh, injury use from uh, overuse or, or maybe a little bit of stress and strain, like maybe, maybe you might have uh, hit, a, hit a very severe divot or, got the, or hitting a ball out of deep rough, you really hung the club up, the club got really wrapped in the rough and, and it gave you a little jolt to your shoulder or like, like we saw at the PGA back there, hit a root and things like that. So that, that could be an issue. So I'd say if you could try the heat and, and, the, and uh, the cold and the heat treatments and, and then maybe uh, uh, rubs, uh, sort of rubs and things like on it that, that, that help get in there and, and uh, heat them up and all those other things and, and relax them. Uh, all of these things to relax the muscles. If that goes away, then, then all you had was bit, what we'll say is an overuse issue. I think you'd be okay. And the thing would be to, to make sure that, that, that if it starts to bother you again, you don't keep hitting balls or, or you go, as, or if you need to, come back home and, and do the, the, the uh, cold compresses and then, uh, and then heat. If, it, if that doesn't work, then I would say you've got an outside chart. It's, it's a, a bursitis or arthritis. Again, you can start with those things by taking some anti-inflammatory uh, drugs, uh, pills like uh, ibuprofen or acetaminophens and things like that and see if that helps. And ultimately in the end, I think the most important thing you have to do, George, is, is if the pain keeps persisting and doing all of these, these other, shall we say, uh, precautionary measures and, and staying healthy measures, uh, then you might have to go see uh, a doctor, very likely an orthopedist, so they could take uh, x-rays or MRIs or whatever it is, CAT scans or whatever it is they do to really get in here and see if there are some problems. I would think that, that a good PT, if you can go see a PT real quick, many of them, uh, they're, they're trained well enough that they, that they uh, PT or an OT, my daughter's an OT, and one time I was hurting and she just said, she gave me these movements to make and she said, well that, mean, that shows you definitely don't have, don't have rotator cuff problems. So there's certain things that, that they make you put your arms or your hands in certain positions and make them do them, and they can tell really quick that, that either you do or you don't. And uh, so you might just want to try to find an OT that can, uh, or a PT that you can get in to see and, and tell them what's going on. And they got a lot of things, you know, movements that they can check you out. So uh, again, you want to get into this stuff. You want when you're having these issues, you want to address it really quick, especially as you're saying, you're getting into your into your uh, golden years. I believe you said, yeah, golden age years. So uh, naturally. It takes us longer to heal as we get older, so we have to be more cautious and more about our preventative uh, care for ourselves. And because and, if you let it go and it gets too bad, it could be a lot worse and a lot longer to heal up. So uh, I can't really say what to do other than that that if you keep making a surge swing and it's staying vertical and you're finishing on both sides, you're swinging the best way you can. So if you're still having problems, there's something uh, there's something in there that needs to be looked at and addressed by 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 medical experts from OTs, PTs, all the way up to a doctor. But you can start off by testing yourself, as I said, with the, with the cold and the hot compresses, and then, and then uh, the, 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 the gels and stuff that we can put on, and the, the lotions and things that you can put on your shoulder to get the deep, the deep penetration in your skin to help it, and, and maybe lay off a little bit. But in the end, if it keeps coming back, you really need to get checked by an OT or PT to see if you have the rotator cuff problems, and if that shows up, then your last recourse is you have to go see an orthopedic surgeon. So. Uh, hope this answers your question for all of you out there that might be having aches and pains. But in the end, the best thing is playing smart, playing safe, and, and, and playing conservative in that we don't do things that, that could rip our uh, hitting balls out of places that, that could hang up the club or, or the club could bounce off of something and hurt ourselves. Take the drop, take the penalty, or chip it out in a fairway and avoid those to begin with. And, and you have a lot better chance of staying more healthy and, and to keep playing golf and avoid injuries and pain. Okay, well that's it for the search for today and I'll be talking to y'all again soon.